So back in the time of the dinosaurs, it was pretty much a necessity to partition or divide up your drives, especially if you were running a higher capacity drive on an old operating system such as Windows 95. And believe me, having to deal with like 12 partitions because of file system limitations was kind of a drag. Nowadays though, with everyone on a Windows based PC anyway using NTFS, partitioning is no longer necessary, but it can be a valuable tool. So what exactly then is partitioning and why is it still relevant when we can just dump everything onto one giant eight terabyte drive and be done with it? Well, partitioning means splitting one physical hard drive or SSD into several different logical drives or volumes that your operating system will treat as if they were completely separate physical drives. Each volume on a partitioned disk has its own drive letter, you know, like C or D or Z, and folder structure, and can also be formatted, even with different file systems, without affecting your other partitions at all. So if you're just rocking one drive in your system, partitioning allows you some pretty cool functionality. You could set up a hidden partition with no drive letter assigned so non-tech savvy roommates won't be able to find a particular virtual drive. Many PC manufacturers include recovery partitions that are hidden away and have all of your operating system and drivers and pre-installed applications there ready for you to say, hey, I'm ready to restore my PC. Or if you wanted to dual boot your system, very useful if you wanted to try out Linux or run a previous version of Windows for improved compatibility without installing a whole new physical disk or getting rid of your more modern operating system. Multiple partitions can also help keep your data safe if something happens to your OS installation. One popular way to do this is to put your personal files and data on a separate partition so if your OS gets corrupted or infected with certain types of malware, you can just wipe it and do a clean reinstall without also nuking your important stuff. Though it should be noted, this does nothing to protect that data from a physical drive failure. Partitions can also help though with a slow mechanical drive through a technique called short stroking. You see, because of the way that hard drive platters spin, the read or write head in your hard drive actually accesses data near the outer portion of the disk more quickly. Short stroking involves creating a partition that only takes up the faster outer portion of the platter. Not a bad place to install programs that you need to access quickly if you don't have room or you can't afford an SSD upgrade. So how do you create a partition then? Well, there's a wide variety of ways. You can actually specify multiple partition sizes when you're installing operating systems such as Windows. From within Windows, you can use disk management to actually shrink and expand volumes, which allows you to partition the space that is no longer being taken up by a volume. You can buy dedicated tools such as Paragon Hard Disk Manager. That's the one that we use around here at the office whenever we have to work with partitions. Or I'm sure that the comments are going to be full of everyone's favorite open source partition management software and you can check out the most upvoted ones there as well. But there are downsides to partitioning. For one, because of file system overhead, splitting your disk into multiple partitions results in lower overall capacity than if you just had one big partition. You also have to configure Windows to store your data intelligently on a secondary partition unless you want to just be manually moving things around. And the same goes for programs because installing programs in one volume and then trying to move them over to another one is pretty much not a thing, meaning that even if the idea was to save yourself from OS corruption, if you're installing a bunch of programs to that other drive, you're actually going to have to go clean them out manually and reinstall them anyway. But if you're the type of person that appreciates fine tuning and tinkering and you, you know, want your data backups there and you want to put your managed files there, then don't be afraid of partitions. I mean, after all, where would we be without partitions and public bathrooms? I don't even want to imagine that kind of world. You know what other kind of world I don't want to imagine? One without Squarespace. Squarespace lets normal people like you build a simple, powerful, beautiful website the way you should.
They offer 24-7 tech support via live chat and email. It's only eight bucks a month to start and you get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year. All their gorgeous templates feature responsive design, so your website will scale to look great on any device. Commerce is built in. They've got cover pages, which is actually, this is a cool feature. It allows you to have a simple one-page online presence like every startup now on Earth in minutes. And they've even got things like their little logo creator. And this is new, Squarespace Domains. It always renews at the same price, which is good if you aren't quite ready to build your site yet. So you can start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. Then when you're ready to permanently have a Squarespace presence on the web, use offer code Linus to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, you should. You know what else you should do? Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other channels like Channel Super Fun. This is kind of a gross video. We, uh, we did a spelling bee with Alphagetti using only our mouths. It's actually grosser than it sounds. Um, leave a comment with suggestions for future videos and subscribe and follow and all that good stuff so you don't miss any Fast as Possible episodes.